But first, we are always on the hunt for the city's best restaurants, and right now, the Meatpacking District is one of the most popular neighborhoods around. So true, and Lauren paid a visit to one new hotspot serving up authentic Cuban cuisine, cocktails, and so much more. Mm. The Meatpacking District is one of the most popular neighborhoods in the city. La Cubana should be on your radar on West 15th Street. Why did you want to open a Cuban restaurant in the Meatpacking District? I think that uh, Latin food wasn't really well represented in the Meatpacking. I didn't want to do the, the cliche, you know, the picture of the guy cutting sugar cane. I mean, we do other things. You know, we have doctors and lawyers. So I wanted a nice little place where you can really experience Cuban food in its natural state. We have live music every night. I think live music is an ingredient. The food tastes better with live music. What would you say sets La Cubana apart from other Cuban restaurants in New York City? Its location. In the meatpacking, I opened Son Cubano 16 years ago. It's an incredible thing to bring it back, to revive it, you know, and, and to have something else besides an UGG store here is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> cuisine, first of all, it always starts with things like empanadas. Here we have an empanada. It's made with spinach and manchego. We fancied it up a little bit. This is ropa vieja, which is braised flank steak, and it always comes with white rice and maduros, which are fried plantains. If this doesn't come together, you'll have a riot. Got Cuban it. fried chicken, my grandmother taught me how to do this. This is braised pork belly, and this is molasses and guava, which is delicious. It's super, super sweet. If you have a cavity, don't eat that. And this is fried fish. This is a staple in Cuba. It's obviously a mojito. This is why we nap in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. La Pasión, it has tequila and hibiscus. It's really, really fruity and uh, tastes like tea, but it just knocks you out. That's going to be a good play, man. Try that. All right, now I'm like going to eat all the plantains because I have a secret problem. <laughs> The fried fish. That's spicy. It's not that spicy, but Cuban spicy. We you think tooth, me. we think toothpaste is spicy in Cuba. So <laughs> I'm just really worried. <laughs> That's like perfect amount of spice. So this is braised flank steak. Let's see how many utensils I go through. <laughs> You're just like passing over to me. In Cuba, utensils are luxury. So I'm showing off now with all the forks that we have. I like this. This is good for hangovers. This reminds me of my grandmother yelling at me that I'm sleeping on the, in the living room. I mean, each bite gets better. Isn't that fun? So this is it. This is what we do. So what time does the party start each night when we come in for dinner? The party starts at 5 o'clock. If you want to come, you can come anytime. Well, 5 o'clock is a good time for me to Perfect. party. <laughs> <laughs> and in a few months, you're going to be launching brunch. Brunch is going to be great. We're going to do Cuban food, and we're going to put an egg on it. And then we're going to put music. Okay. Music, egg on food, brunch meat packing. So much to look forward to. Carl, I had the best time today. Thank you so much. Nice. Gotta get down there. Music in the meatpacking district and good food. I know. Oh, man. That's a winning combination. It is. All right. Thanks, Lauren.